Hello everyone and welcome to the first video on maps and heraldry where I'll be doing weekly uh, speed drawings for fictional maps, fantasy maps, uh, world building and unique backstories for each one and, and more to come. Uh, I've been doing this since I was a little kid and, and decided to open a channel right now for this. So basically it's gonna, as you know, it's gonna help my videos in the YouTube algorithm. So please hit that subscribe button and comment with any questions, suggestions and thoughts you have. I'll also be selecting one subscriber, um, you know, from the comments down below this video for a free map that we're gonna have uh, featured for next week's video. If you like what we'll be doing so please subscribe to make sure you get the uh, notification when I upload next week you're probably wondering what this week's map is those are Mesopotamian deities gods and goddesses worshipped thousands of years ago and uh, I'll be creating a kingdom or a nation uh, for each one of them as you can see here I uh, start off uh, with basically those red uh, rough outlines that you're seeing for the big map uh, or the big island in the middle and a few smaller islands around it then we start um, inking with another uh, layer on top after the general shape is finalized we can start thinking of lakes mountains rivers hills and other details or, or internal details basically that we want to add to the map for the mountains i generally draw a line of where i want the mountain range to be located at and that's how i start doing it as you can see here i went with two longer uh, mountain ranges on on the big island and two medium lakes and, and rivers not not too big and uh, not that small of a lake either I then move to doing the coastlines and those can be done in a uh, few different ways just like the mountains and other features and I lower the opacity for them a bit coasts basically are jagged and random let your pen wander main thing to do here uh, that I'm adding is the waves and, and, and the thing about them is that they're thinner, lighter, draw them smoothly, flowing lines around the coast and then they should kind of cluster tightly around the shore and then they become sparser and fewer and fewer the further you move and um, they, they should follow the shape of the wave that's closer to the shore or to the coastline. I decided to add some hills later on and that's what we're seeing right now uh, basically was debating if I wanted to add forests uh, for this one I usually do uh, but for this one like I said I, I decided against it uh, here on this map as I started thinking of the whole picture and, and fine-tuning the smaller details for the streams and internal features so I decided to emit the forests uh, and the trees uh, details for this map Then we can start by kind of making the lower borders for, for the whole map, every island, every continent you have a bit thicker to give the landmass some depth and detail and shade. And then later decided to add a smaller uh, island next to the bigger one on the left or, or the east, uh, however you want to say it. There's a few ways I, I color my maps. Uh, I mainly color them with natural colors, sometimes blue for ocean, green, and, and you know, brown and everything, depending on the, on the situation that we have. But here I decided to go with the kind of older feel, uh, older paper for this map, and that's what I did. Uh, basically went in and got a textured background. All right, here, here comes, comes the, the fun part, part and, and that's, that's where, where I actually, actually usually some put some uh, red X's where I want my cities and towns to go and that's how I start doing the smaller uh, structures, houses, churches, temples, uh, you know, castles um, and any uh, places around those uh, around the maps and that's where these are gonna go.
After we have all of our cities laid out and done, I can redline and roughly, you know, where I want to put my kingdoms, empires, and states, basically every nation on this map, and also write down the names uh, that I picked for these. And like I said, they're Mesopotamian deities for this map, such as uh, Marduk, Inanna, Ashur, Ishtar, Nergal, Enlil, and more. I later pick uh, the font that I like the most for this map and then type uh, type up the place names and uh, decided to add some simple coat of arms uh, for each nation I created as you can see here and that's what we're seeing being added currently. I did end up adding one smaller city in the Mordok Empire in the south and you'll see me coloring the borders and the lands after that for each nation. Um, a little cosmetic change um, as adding the arrow for the north and then uh, seeing the sea serpent that you're seeing being added as a reference to the chaos um, entity in Mesopotamia named Tiamad. Um, I'll end up using two serpents at the end uh, as you'll see in the final product. You can see me drawing a giant squid a red squid here but later decided against it uh, because I thought it was cluttering the map and added the copy of, of the serpent of the green serpent on the other side and just flipped it the final thing I did was adding the names of the seas and oceans also based on Mesopotamian uh, figures deities and uh, myths If you like this video, please subscribe and leave a comment and I'll pick one person from the comments down below to make their map for the next week video um, and hopefully we'll see you then. Thank you for watching.